Hi everyone, my name is Micah and welcome back to my channel, Micah Kate. I'm working remote today, anxiously awaiting a package from Amazon that has a glass jar in it. And the reason I'm so excited for this jar is because I'm starting my sourdough journey. Okay, <laughs> I need to preface because I just dyed my eyebrows forgetting that I was gonna film tonight, but they're really dark, so. Be nice. I have been thinking about sourdough for a really long time, but never really made the jump. And then I was finally offered a sourdough starter that I didn't have to make myself by my friend Katie. So I was like, okay, this is it. We're doing this. We're getting that starter and we're feeding it and we are beginning the journey. Katie works at Orange Theory. And so after class, I got the starter and I brought it home from my workout. And I was like, what do I do with this? I got two containers, discard and farm it. Easter's next weekend and I want to bring a loaf of bread to Easter lunch and wow my family with my incredible talent for sourdough bread making. But I realized that the first time you make it, it's probably not gonna be that good. So I'm practicing this week in order to have the perfect loaf by Sunday, which maybe that's really aiming high. But there is this quote I read in my fifth grade classroom that said, shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you land among the stars. This feels like a fitting bowl to be making my sourdough in. It has a rooster on it. Like how much more farm girl does it get than that? I don't really think any. Okay, so my sourdough is actually not ready because Google says that if it doesn't float to the top of your water, it's not um, light enough. So I don't want to mess this up on my first try, if I can help it. So we're going to just do it first thing in the morning. We're back Wednesday morning again. I've done two rounds of fluffing the dough. I started making it this morning at like 7 a.m. and I didn't want to film because it was 7 a.m. So I basically combined my starter with water and flour and salt. It's a little stickier than I think it's supposed to be. I think I added too much water, <sighs> whatever. I'm stretching it one more time and we're gonna let the dough ferment for six to 12 hours, which is basically the rest of my day. <gasps> it's here. tonight with my sourdough discard and I'm cooking all the toppings. Everything's so greasy. The meat lover's pizza. For sure. Wow, Micah, nice sweater. Where'd you get that from? Oh my gosh, thanks. My sister made it for me. Oh, where could I purchase one of those? Etsy. <laughs> Huge biscuits. Beloved, I got to pick what it said and I picked the color. So customizable. Thanks, Noah. Go check out Noah's store. I can keep it. Should pay you like 5K for that? We're gonna attempt to make the crust on this. I haven't done any research. I've watched one TikTok that was sent to me by two people, so technically I've watched it twice. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. That was a lot more than I thought. Like a pancake. Crusts are going pretty well. It's like pita. Are you gonna put veggies on it? Not the prettiest, but I think it's gonna taste good. I think she looks great. First bite. It's <laughs> gonna just immediately fall apart. It feels like a pancake. Hours later. What are you doing? Sorry, I tried. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. It's a few hours later. <clears throat> Sorry, I tried what are you again. doing? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a few hours later. My sourdough has doubled in size. But I'm about to do the next steps, which is. Honestly, there's so many steps. I don't even know what I'm doing next. But join me. I've got Ballerina Farm on deck. Show me what to do. 
Her bowls look so perfect. They're so not sticky. I already know what I did wrong. Oh no. I'm not feeling very good about this. It looks great. At 8.38, we'll bake. Whoa, that looks like bread. Oh! Amber! <laughs> is it rising? It's, it's risen. It's done. See it? Oh, it's hot. It's bread! Is it done <laughs> on the inside? It's so hot! <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness! Whoa! It's steamy. I know. Like straight Oops. out of me. That is crazy. Mm, the good crunch is yeah. ASMR. Wait, that's Wait, actually why? really good. Why do the fish look sour? That fish great. Did you say it's like bread? Is mm. she a winner? It's good. Yay! Mm. <laughs> it's kind of tiny. <laughs> what? It took me like 20 hours! <laughs> My god, I think it looks great for your, especially for your first time. It looks beautiful. Good morning. We are at the office. been a while. Yep, we're back. We're back. Back to my hand modeling. Let's see if I can remember how to flick the wrist. What's a bad villain that grew as it was fed? Pixar movies. No, 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 no. Okay, I got it. Just name it. Just go back, Google. What's the name of the little boy in Honey, I Blew Up the Baby? Adam? Adam. Name him Adam. Oh, it was originally named that. Dude, name him Adam. Honey, I Blew Up the Adam Baby. Adam the Sourdough? Adam! Hello, I just got back from work. I changed clothes again because we're going to a Maundy Thursday service for Easter tonight. Um, but before we left, I was like, I'm just gonna prep a sourdough. Here she is. In 15 minutes, I'm gonna do the last little flipperoo and then she's gonna go in the fridge overnight and I'm gonna cook it first thing in the morning. Good morning. It's 6.45. Okay, it is 8 a.m. Bread is done. I honestly feel like my other one went a little better. Good morning, 7.20, woke up at 5.30 to make bread. Okay, I'd just like to pause here to fill in a gap because my plan, my original plan from the beginning of the video was to bake a sourdough every single day of the week to be ready by Easter. Didn't realize how long sourdough actually takes and only got to bake the two loaves that you just saw. And so this Sunday loaf that you're about to witness flopped. Didn't even vlog on Easter Sunday because I was like disappointed. I feel like a homesteader in this dress, pulling bread out of the oven. Doesn't sound hollow to me. Really heavy. Really heavy actually. I did bring it and my mom was really nice, but it wasn't, it wasn't what I was hoping. So anyway, back to the video. Today is, it feels like a Friday. Today's Wednesday, unfortunately. <laughs> Say hi. Why is it unfortunate? Because it's not the weekend yet. It is like four o'clock. I've been at this conference center since seven and we're gonna be here until probably nine or 10. We've just been filming all day. Okay, I just wanted to check in and let you know that I have sourdough at home. I woke up at 5.30 this morning to be able to prep it so that it would be able to sit in the fridge today. And then hopefully, hopefully I can bake it when I get home from the shoot tonight, even though it'll be really late and it will have sat in the fridge for a few extra hours. But I don't know if that matters, but who knows. Day shift, evening shift. It's 10.45, we just finished. I'll tell you about it tomorrow because I'm so tired. 
Good morning, it is Thursday. I had an all day shoot yesterday and I have an afternoon shoot today. And when I say all day shoot, I'm talking like 16, 17 hours. It wasn't supposed to be that long, but the program ran longer. So we were like an hour and a half behind schedule. So I ended up not getting home until like 11, 15. I want to boost my bread. Things Mother Teresa ever talked about. So shout out to my roommate, Amber, who actually ended up baking the bread for me last night. She's crispy. Dude, it looks good. Micah, you're getting there, girl. I don't feel like it's my best loaf. It doesn't taste very good. It looks good, like the inside is the fluffiest it's been. Not very dense, but the flavor, something is off. Me again. Hindsight, I think it just over-fermented. I'm just doing my makeup right now for work. Okay, thank you for watching this week's vlog. I have to get to work, but I appreciate you following me around for the past three weeks while I've tried to figure out how to make sourdough. Four, five loaves later, I don't feel like I really got the hang of it yet. So if you have any tips or recipes that I should try, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're interested in getting into sourdough, I don't really have any encouragement for you yet, except when you get good at it, it's probably a really great skill to have. But yeah, until next vlog, love you, bye.